How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the video. So this is part two of my Python and Selenium series. So last video, we started this, and we were able to log into Instagram using Python and Selenium. So this video will take off where we left off. First, I want to go over some small changes that I made to the code. So the first change is that I broke login into its own function. And then from the init function, I just called self.login. Secondly, you'll notice here in the find by x path, I changed the syntax up a little bit. So originally we had this for all of them, but I went back and I cleaned it up a little bit and I used some shorthand syntax that looks a little nicer. So this syntax just starts with slash slash and then it goes to the tag name. Then you have an at sign and then an attribute name. It can be any attribute in that tag equals and then whatever it equals. So for this video, we are going to be liking and commenting on a certain hashtag. First, let's define our function. We'll call this like comment by hashtag. We'll pass in self and we'll also pass, pass in the hashtag want. Let's open up Instagram so we can see what we're working with. So the first thing that we need to do is click on this search box right here. Select inspect and find what the X path is. Okay, here's the input right here. So using the shorthand syntax that I did before, we know it's the input tag. And we have placeholder equals search. Okay, so let's write search box and that will be equal to self dot driver dot find element by x path and then we'll do the shorthand so we'll do slash slash input at placeholder equals search Perfect. Next, we want to send in the hashtag that is passed in. So let's do search box dot. We can use send keys. We'll send in the hashtag plus the hashtag. So hashtag sign plus the hashtag passed in. Next, we'll sleep for a little bit. And then we can hit enter on that. So we can use the send keys, common keys, enter. And the element we want here is say we do technology. We want to hit enter on this. We want to hit enter right here on this explore tags technology. So we'll grab, we'll grab the full X path here. All right, let's test this out. Let's call the method up here in the self.init method. And we'll pass in the hashtag of technology. Let's give it a run. Okay, so it's unable to locate the element search. And that's because we forgot to capitalize this. Awesome. So that brings us to the page of whatever hashtag we pass in. Next, we want to get the link to each one of these photos. So if you click on it and say open a new tab, it brings us to this page right here. And this link right here, we want to get this for all of them. And we want to store these links for each one of these photos in an array. And then we can loop over that array go to each one, like and comment on it. So let's grab the links. We can inspect. And it's an A tag. So what we're going to do is grab all the A tags and then filter for the links that we want. So again, we'll sleep. Then we're going to declare a variable links. Set that equal to self.driver.find and we've been using find element by id 
but we can actually use find elements and that will allow us to get all of the elements not just one so we can use find elements by we're going to use tag name pass an a tag and that will find all of the elements on this page that have an a tag and put them in this links array uh, one thing to do we need to make that links array up here perfect just initialize that to nothing now we're going to write a little function in here we'll say def condition link and we will return dot com slash p in oops, in link dot get at oops, attribute href so this will search through all the links and return any links that have this string in it from the href. So if we go back here to this image, this is what's gonna be in our links array. And you'll notice here, we have the dot com slash p slash. So if it has that string in it, that means it's an image and we want it. So we'll keep that. Now let's create another array, valid, links equals list and then we can use the filter keyword to filter out uh, to apply this filter to our links so this takes in two arguments first is the condition second is the actual links that we want to apply that to so there we go that's our statement there so now after this is executed valid links should only contain all these a tags of each individual image so let's loop through those valid links and grab say the first five so we can say for i in range five link equals valid links sub i dot get attribute href and then if link not in self dot links not if it's not already in there we want to add that self dot links dot append link Perfect. So now that we have that, we can just create a loop that says for each link in array links, get that URL and it will go to that page. So let's do that. For link in self.links. Remember, we need the self keyword because links is defined at the class level. So uh, for link in self.links, self dot driver dot get link so remember this will be the url of the image now let's add a sleep three so we'll sleep three seconds after each one okay let's try that see if it works and there we go it is looping and grabbing each one of the images There's the first one. Boom. Got it. There you go. Wait three seconds. Grab the second one. Wait three seconds. Grab another one. Should be two more. Okay, perfect. So that's the last one. So that works. Okay, so now that we're able to successfully loop through all of our image URLs, 
all you have to do now is like and comment. So liking is not that bad. We just got to find out what XPath this is and click it. Commenting, also not that bad. We have to click on this form, pass in some keys, and hit post. Okay, so first we'll do like. So like I said, we just have to click. So self.driver.find element by XPath dot click. Let's go back here. Let's inspect. And here's the button we want. We'll use the full XPath because there are a couple different buttons on this page. Copy and paste. So that will like it. Sleep three seconds. Next is comment. So for that, inspect. So this text area is what we are going to pass the comment in, but we need to click on this div right here. So let's actually grab this by class. Do a quick check to make sure this class is anywhere else. No. So this is the only class on the page. So we can grab this element by class name. Self dot find oops, self dot driver dot find element by class name dot click fleet for a second. Next we need to send the comment into this text area. So to do that, we can find it by XPath using our shorthand. We know it's a text area tag, and we have placeholder add a comment. So let's grab that. We can go element by XPath slash slash text area brackets at placeholder equals paste that in and then last time you couldn't find it because we forgot the capitalized letter at the beginning so we have that this time and then we want to send a comment in so send keys and now we can send any comment we want but what I'm gonna do is make an array of comments and we can randomly select one from the array so Let's send one from the array before I even uh, declare it. So self dot. <clears throat> so this array will be declared at the class level. So we need to use self. We'll call it comments. And then we'll pass in a random int. Remember we call that right here. Pass in a random integer from zero to eight because our comments list will have nine different comments so let's go up here right below links we'll declare comments and then in here we can put uh nine different comments so let's do that all right perfect so now we have all of our comments in this array and we can randomly pass one of those comments into the text area the final step is to click post First, we're going to sleep for two seconds. Inspect. Okay, so this is the button here that we want to click on. We can grab that with button type equals submit. Self.driver.find element by xpath slash slash button type equals submit and finally click that button and then we will sleep two seconds because this will loop back and get another link so we'll wait a little bit before that happens all right so there we go this should like and comment on each post so let's test it out there's the like okay so we're getting an error text area placeholder equals this is not a valid xpath expression uh let's see we got the slashes so we forgot our closing there we go 
Perfect. Awesome. So it's working. Like it. Pass in the comment. And hit post. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.